Welcome to another episode of the Big Bad Debate. I'm Kevin the Skull Anderson, and feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you really like my shit. Okay. So, as you can see, it is a little past sunrise, if you get what I mean. Alright. Let's get down to this week's topic. I'm going to be discussing two of my favorite neoclassical bands. In this case, I will be talking about Austria's Dieverman Kinder Evis and Sweden's Arcana. Arcana has been around since. 1994 I believe and they've released quite a few albums since their founding and their style of music is very lush very unique very new age like it kind of sets a tone for things to come. And then you have Dever Benton Kinder Rebus, who, by the way, is also a neoclassical act from Austria. And they are known for having this summoning-esque sound, most notably in Richard Lutterer's keyboard playing. You know, Protector from Summoning. He's in this band as well. So let me just be perfectly honest with you. Between the two bands, I would say that overall production is a dead heat because each of these two bands have a distinct production sound that makes their music very innovative in the neoclassical world. Neo, of course, stands for new, and classical apparently means soundtrack-ish, orchestra-ish, you know, but the point I'm trying to make in all of this is that Dieb Rabin Kinder Evis which was formed in 1993 originally by the two members of Summoning, Selenius and Protector. Of course, Selenius would later leave Dieverben and Kinder Evis to focus on Abigor, which she would assume lead vocals until 1999, and Summoning, which he provides vocals for that band to this day. And then, of course, you have to take into consideration the fact that both Dever Benton Kinder Evis and Arcana are very, what's the word I'm looking for? Post-standard. Yeah, that's it post-standard but if I had to choose between which neoclassical act was better either D. Verbent and Kinder Rebus or Arcana I would have to choose D. Verbent and Kinder Rebus because of the fact that I'm a huge summoning fan and have covered several of their songs, one of them three times. Of course, I'm talking about the song that I covered from their 2001 album, Let Mortal Hero See Your Fame. Of course, I'm talking about Summoning and their song, Farewell. Now, you also got to take into consideration that Arcana comes in a close, close, close second because they have their own distinct style too 
and they are also in the country of another one of my favorite metal bands, Bathory, the one-man project that was started by Quorthon and his father, Bjorn, or Boss. Either way is fine. But anyway, bottom line, Deverman Kinder Revis is, in my opinion, better than Arcana. Now, of course, there are going to be people that agree with me. There are going to be people that disagree with me. There are people that it's going to say, oh, there's another band that's a neoclassical act that's better than both of them. So, of course, feel free to shout out your opinions on the comment section below. And like I said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know the deal. So until next time, I'll see you online. Later.